T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, engine ignition, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with the Mars Exploration Rover. In the summer of 2003, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory delivered two exploration spacecraft to the surface of Mars. Missions to the Red Planet are only feasible once every two years during a specific short window of time. The launch must be timed so that the spacecraft and Mars arrive at a specific point in the planet's orbit at the same time. The journey across the 34 million mile distance can take up to seven months, and the trajectory must be perfect. The accuracy required to go from Earth to Mars and to hit the spot you want to be at on Mars is equivalent to shooting a basketball from Los Angeles to New York and have it go through without hitting the rim, nothing but net. All systems are go for entry, descent, landing. We are currently six minutes from landing at the Gosev Crater in the southern hemisphere of Mars. Current velocity, 1,356 miles per hour. Expect the parachute deploy in five seconds. Parachute was detected. Expected retro rocket ignition on my mark. Mark. The spacecraft were actually rovers, robotic vehicles capable of traveling across the Martian surface and poking around. The rovers are robot geologists. Their job is to be our eyes, our feet, our hands on the Martian surface. We experience Mars through them. They can reach out and they can touch rocks. There's this device called the RAT. RAT, the rock abrasion tool, which is a, a diamond tip grinding tool that we can use to grind into the interior of a rock and so we can actually get a window inside the rock. They have sensors on the end of that arm, like there's a microscope for telling us in detail what they look like. So we've got a whole bunch of tools similar to what a geologist would want if they were actually physically there on the scene. The rovers were named Spirit and Opportunity and they are still exploring regions of Mars today at locations on the planet hundreds of miles from each other. Spirit landed in an area dubbed Gusev Crater. The crater is believed to be a dried up lake bed, so if the water it once held contained biology, Spirit might uncover signs of it. Opportunity touched down in a region called Meridiani Planum, the area is intriguing because it contains an ancient layer of hematite, an iron oxide that on Earth usually forms in a spot that held liquid water. So far, neither rover has found signs of life. But both Spirit and Opportunity have uncovered ample proof that liquid water was once plentiful on the surface of the Red Planet. <laughs> 